I just did the recording, so hopefully this actually works this time. But I'm just gonna not I'm not gonna flash cards up, I'm just gonna kinda voice this over. So I'll just begin. I'm doing 110 again from last week. I did 110 also. I just added a set, so I matched last week's sets, the reps that I got, but I moved closer to failure and I added a set. So I did the 110s for whatever sets I did last week, or reps I did last week each set. Then I went this week's proximity to failure on the last set, which was three from failure, which is this whole entire uh, week. Here's hammer strength press. I went to 245 from 225, and I added a set as well. So I matched last week's reps. Then the last set, I increased, or I went towards that week's proximity to failure as well. So whatever that was, whether that be 8 to 12 reps, which is my rep range, this master cycle is 8 to 12. So I went ahead and did that for each of these things when I had a set. Here is my intensity technique, and by intensity I mean just building metabolites, which was my fly superset with my wide grip push-ups. I added a set here, and I went up in intensity as well on the flies, <clears throat> moving that week's proximity to failure on both the flies and the push-ups. I believe I got like you know, 15 and 15 or 15 and 12 for most sets. Moving on to the PM session, you'll see that I went up at five pounds on my top sets, kept the top sets the same, which I'll increase next week. And I moved closer to failure, so three from failure. I added intensity, but I matched the reps from last week, which makes sense that if I match the reps and I was four from failure last week, I'd now be closer, which is three. So my down sets, I did add a set. I added one set to my down sets. Um, I believe five pounds as well to my down sets. Yeah, so one set and five pounds. Went ahead and did my, you're not gonna see the whole super set, but I did my seven reps behind the head, tricep extension, and then seven reps in front with military press. Here is my curling, my bicep, uh, easy bar curls. This is actually a lighter day, so you'll see that I went up in intensity, but I kept it at two sets um, because I have an overloading bicep session later in the week and a really overloading session for delts later in the week as well. So I do lateral raise variants here and a bicep variant here, but they're lesser overloading. So I'm still going up in intensity per week, and I'm going up in sets every other week, but it's not as much as my really voluminous sessions for my delts and biceps that I have in there uh, which you'll see later on in the video so next my quad moving on to my quad emphasis day I believe I was having a bit of knee pain but I toughed it out this week that because this video is late they've been late I'm sorry I apologize for that but I toughed it out this week specifically 285 up from 275 and added a set trying to really control the eccentric as much as possible, but that right knee was bugging me because of the left hamstring issue, so I've been overcompensating. Really sucks. So now I'm having a little bit of right knee pain. Uh, I think after this week, I'll be uploading the last week's video, which this one should have been out, so again, sorry. But you'll see that I didn't record the session because I had to go and modify my whole entire session. Here's Zyan hitting a freaking huge PR, which she blows out of the water again the next week. She's loving assing out here, I think. Um, but this is a low bar PR. I believe three sets of six at 145. Then the next week, she does 155 for four sets of six for her top sets. Super crazy. Her quads are getting freaking awesome. But you can go see that. I'll flash her card on the screen. Here, I just recorded to show you that I do do calves. And um, I do these from a deficit normally. But this is just kind of extra footage, you know. To show, I do this abs, forearms, and traps sometimes three to four times a week, just throwing it at the end of my sessions, depending on the day. Um, moving on to day three, horizontal pull. Uh, went up to four sets, 12 reps being three from failure on the hammer strength. Then I moved on to my giant set, which you will see coming up. And I'm gonna talk a little bit in the video, so I'll pause this. But again, I apologize for getting this out so damn late. Uh, I'm trying to keep up. I'm gonna push to get two out this week, so you can see last week's as well. Have some cool training at Kratos Gym and some cool training at Gold's Venice, which was so much fun. Anyone who comes out to California has to go there. It's absolutely amazing. But I'll let the video play for a little bit, and then I'll do some more voiceover toward the end. I will not follow it. 
So yeah, as I said last week, the, the giant set, uh, I kept the weight the exact same, but I overloaded the uh, the reps, which therefore would make me overload the sets. So please go watch that giant set tutorial from last week. It's very informative on how I would uh, implement that into the technique. So you just saw me do pull-ups. I believe it was I added a set, and I lowered the... Uh, Resistance as in what was aiding me helping me get the you know the assisted pull up So I lowered the weight instead of raising the weight by 10 pounds uh, Here's my PM session My triceps again kept top set the same increased intensity by a little bit. I think five pounds um, Because it's you know Relatively that's quite a bit for triceps and for the exercise itself down set same thing up five pounds um but up the set just like my other tricep workout basically i or training session basically i mimicked what i was doing with that one for this one and here's my superset intensity technique for this training session next neutral grip flat press this uh, this movement is in here one because it's triceps mostly two because I didn't have a horizontal pressing Exercise in the AM session. I did dumbbell military press after my um, Incline bench and stuff which that tra training session wasn't so either here's my second light session for my biceps and uh, Delts I did the exact same thing. I did uh, the first session that you saw so increase the weight to 80 uh increased or didn't increase sets this week but i will next week same thing with lateral raises here's my little bro travis doing it and i'm talking about the rest of the pm session see it says two by 12 so two sets of lateral raises uh leg session didn't get recorded but at the end of this video i do have my whole entire um training session or my whole entire mess cycle I believe no it's just this week it's so it's week one and week two so that you can see the precise overload uh, what I did for these first two weeks uh, next week I'll put the cards up and everything like normal this video is of you know lower quality and everything so I apologize again hopefully you guys got to see the progression though because the progression is what I want you all to see the most that's um, that's really what I want you guys to get out of this how I progress leading to a show even just microcycle to microcycle meso to meso and just you know getting that information to you guys so you can kind of implement the same thing for whenever you're prepping for a show so you can retain the most lean tissue and look like a badass on stage but yeah like i said my training session these past two microcycles is about to pop up you can pause it and look at them and see the overload and where i raised sets where i raised whatever but thanks for watching sorry the video shit again next week's will be a lot better i promise